You know what time it is. It is what it is. Your boy almost back at it again, though. Today's video reaction is on LG and on Lucas Graham called Seven Years by Check it out. Hopefully, it is dope, man. On some real love, man. I guess he's an upcoming artist. Haven't heard this dude before, but we definitely heard Seven Years song. It's a big hit song, man. I've been seven years. I, I ain't even gonna sing. Y'all know my voice creaking, man. I ain't even gonna sing. But, bro, your boy got a little, his LG got a little twist to it. But I check it out. Hopefully, this is dope, man. He's an upcoming new artist and whatnot. I believe some of y'all already heard about him before. So, it is what it is. Hopefully, this is dope, though. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Click the notification bell. And join the family. Always welcome. Show you love. Show you support. Let's get it. I feel like this is gonna make me feel very emotional, bro. On some real, man. He gonna pull my heart string, bro, out here, bro. When I was seven years old, nobody told me that everyone you with ain't your homies. When I was seven years old. Life going fast, but we kids and we thinking it'll be that way forever, so we waste time. From in the hood as a kid, seen be yet, yeah, cause we never went across the state line. Had to go outside just to talk to each other back then, cause we didn't have FaceTime. I was getting all tracks in what God damn, that's deep, bro. That is deep, bro. I feel that I could relate to that. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all remember early 2000s, man. We had that flip phone. We didn't have no iPhone. We didn't have FaceTime. We didn't have none of that, man. You get what I'm saying? That, that was the era where we were outside riding bikes, playing all the time, hanging with friends, going to the park, going to over each other's house, jumping over walls, you know, getting in trouble doing the dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? That was that era. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to talk to your homie, you had to pull up to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's a mile down, two mile down, bro. Whether you had to walk or ride your bike, you had to get over there and go hang out with a homie. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't face him and say, yo, what's up, boo? You know, what's up, dude? You know, what, what's going on? But I definitely, I definitely feel that though. Nigga seen it was hard trying to walk in a straight line by 13. We were smoking weed and popping the perkies. At that time, I didn't even know what a perk me. I was getting beaten, my mama would hurt me. So I had to cope. No, I'm myself from the pain. I was told 13 when my first song got wrong. He said he was 13, he was popping perps, and he was taking some substance. He didn't even know what it was. But I could relate to that too, just for the fatties. When we were kids, man, we used to go over to this house, man. We used to look at a homie's father's cap name. We used to find a little, you know, little bit. You know, niggas used to try that shit out. You get what I'm saying? We trying to be cool, you know. And, you know, the other kids do it, you do it too. You know, all that, man. It was the peer pressure era, man. But I'm going to say, man, you all tried it. You all did it, man. You know, y'all did some other stuff too on the side, man. It is what it is, man. That was the era back then. You know, I don't know about this era. This era different. You know what I'm saying? But that was the thing back then. You know what I'm saying? And some of us kind of took a little too far. Others kind of like, it is what it is at this point. But I feel him on that, though. I feel him on that. I, based on his tone, what he's saying, I could tell he'd been through some shit, bro. 13 when my little heart got broke, wishing that I wasn't born, but I didn't have a goddamn 14 when I first seen what it's like with no support or no team. Prone to giving up on your dreams. I learned the definition of a dope fiend. Just somebody who's struggling bad in life. It could have been me on a regular night. And post Do you know what it means when he says, I've learned the definition of a dope fiend? And he's saying, the f before he's saying that, he said, I had nobody. He didn't have his mother, he didn't have his his father you know what i'm saying maybe one of them either he had one of them and one of them was probably the dope fiend you know what i'm saying that's crazy he was on his own that's why i said man he definitely went through some shit you know what i'm saying and when i'm listening to the song going on kind of remind me of little j cole and kendrick over here these niggas make you think when you listen to the music bro this dude right here making me think and being too in tune or in touch with my feelings. Man, I don't like it. But it is what it is, man. We here for that. But I'm telling you, man, I feel like there's a therapy session right here, bro. <laughs> but it's crazy, though. To be me, but I put up a fight despite what I was told my future was bright. 15 when I first met still. Thank God I was all by myself. Everything okay. I know I needed help. Love really do it for you when it ain't nothing left. I was about to give up and put my heart on the shelf. One getting locked up wasn't good on my health. Even though I had it hard going up, there was I, I gotta give it to him though. He said 15. He kind of finds himself. 
But thank God, God help him. You know, Lord Jesus Christ had his back. You get what I'm saying? I went through the same shit. I want to say maybe the, the, the years was a little different. You know what I'm saying? Mine wasn't around 15. Mine was probably around like 23. You get what I'm saying? I was lost too. I found myself. You know, thank for the thanks to God, man. You know what I'm saying? He really helped me out here, man. And um, being a kid at that age, going through stuff like that ain't easy, bro. It, it forces you to grow up too quick. But anyway... If you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Click the notification bell and join the family. All is welcome. Shoe Lord, your support, man. Guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this one so far, man. On some real level, man. This, this, this is about to make me cry, man. I ain't trying to cry, but it's trying to get me dead. I'm, I'm a strong man. And you ain't gonna catch me cry over here until maybe I sit a million dollars and I'll probably cry. I like that. I like that little message he dropped, man. He says he's going to be 30 years old. He's going to get the plat platinum plaque, and he's going to get the success we want. And sometimes you got to think positive like that. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever the struggle you're going through, you got to see life that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Some of us come from the trenches. Some of us come from a certain hood, man. And those hood, man, sometimes you don't get to live up to 18 or 25. If you make it 25, that would be a miracle. That would be luck. You know what I'm saying? You make it to 30, that's a miracle. You know what I'm saying? I would say all three of them is miracle, but I'm just dramatic in that whole situation, man. You know what it is. It's very hard if you come from a certain neighborhood to reach an adult age, man. It's not easy, bro. It really is not. Like, especially coming from a young man like my son coming from Chicago, South Side Chicago. It's not easy. I had a lot of homies I went to school with, and most of them didn't make it to 18, 25, all 30, man. Thank God, man. I relocated. I relocated. I, I moved. I moved and I made it to see the age I am now. You know what I'm saying? And all, all thanks to glory to God, man. Your Lord Jesus Christ. But anyway, man, I'm definitely feeling this dude, man. I got to really do a couple more songs with him, reaction to him. But if you guys want me to do that, leave a link. Leave, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll react to it. 30 years This was up. This is definitely a good message, and this was a good, you know, then it's part of his story he was talking about, and definitely well received. Um, I'm definitely feeling the song, I'm feeling this artist, his upcoming. Definitely, guys, support him, support him, support him, support him, man. and support me as as well, man. Show me some love out here. I'm trying to hit 10k, but it ain't of this year, man. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few scans, subscribe, comment, like, and share, click the notification bell. And join the family. Always welcome. Shoot love, shoot support. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this song so far, man. And if you guys want me to react to any other music, leave it in the comment section. Your boy, check it out. Also, direct message me on YouTube, YouTube Instagram, TikTok, um, the rest of my social media platform. And shoot love, support out there. Musa, out.